So as you can see across the street, we have Casa Verde, the greenest house in San Francisco. Right now you can see people from the summit are actually touring the facility. On the roof, you can see the windmill in the back. This building actually reclaimed 95% of the structure that was there before it was. It's an amazing structure, but you know what? Let's get inside and find out in person what's happening in there. We're at Casa Verde now as part of the walking tour of the Neighborhood Empowerment Network Summit this year in the mission. And I got myself Chris Bolter, who is with Whirly Gig. Chris, tell us a little bit about Whirly Gig and, and your relationship to this structure. Well, Whirly Gig is a wind turbine installation company. We're a distributor for Southwest Wind Power. We install residential sized wind turbines, basically. I work with the founder, Robin Wilson, who owns the company. Um, we're just trying to get them permitted in San Francisco right now and working all over the Bay Area to get as many installed as possible. Basically everything in this house has been recycled or is FSC certified or is low VOC. Everything is nature friendly, economically friendly. Even the structure that was here before, when it was taken down, it was actually recycled and almost 95% of it came back. Tell us about the philosophy of the house and why that was so important. Construction work sites are one of the biggest polluters on, in, in civilization and she figured out everything to pull out and size and reuse every piece of wood she could in the house to rebuild this new structure. Well, it's an amazing structure and also even in its day-to-day -day relationship so that, in fact, most of the water that's actually generated is actually repurposed on site. Very little water even actually goes back into the sewer system. Is that true? It has a gray water system, a rain catchment, basically. Water from uh, sinks and showers run uh, down into 4,000 gallon catchments down underground in the backyard and that water is filtered and reused for toilets and uh, laundry. And what's really neat is that this structure, while being really green and environmentally friendly, is actually really cool. I mean, I, I look around, I think I'm in like a, a Dwell Magazine photo shoot. I mean, and that's part of the message, right, is that you can be green and you can also have a really great lifestyle. Yeah, you can have a luxury home and be the greenest house in the city. So that's it. The Clean and Green Summit, powered by the Neighborhood Empowerment Network, is over. What an amazing day. People from all over San Francisco got to tour the greenest house in San Francisco. Got to see permeable landscaping where gardens are sprouting right out of the street. They got to check out Balmy Alley, one of the most beautiful mural locations in San Francisco as well. All the while, they were able to access a resource fair with over 45 different vendors and actually sit in breakout sessions and learn real strategies and ideas on how they can improve the quality of their environment. So the bottom line is the summit was a huge success and there's more to come. But in the meantime, check us out at empowersf.org and find out how you can empower yourself to transform the world around you.